Welcome to the Step 1 Review Study Guide. In this lesson, we learn about the LAC operon. The LAC operon is a classic example of responding to an environmental change with genetics. In E. coli, it takes less energy to use glucose to make energy than it does for lactose. E. coli prefer glucose over lactose, however. If lactose is present and glucose is not, then the genes that encode for lactose metabolism will be turned on. Lactose metabolism requires three genes, LACZ, LACY, and LACA. We will not get into detail on what these genes actually encode for, but just know that they are needed to metabolize lactose. Further upstream, you have the promoter. The promoter is the region that the RNA polymerase will bind to and move downstream where it encodes for the three lac genes. But how does it know when lactose is present to metabolize lactose? In between the promoter and the lac genes, there's the operator. When lactose is not present, a protein called the repressor binds to the operator, physically blocking RNA polymerase from transcribing the lac genes. However, when lactose is present, it will bind to the repressor and induce the operon to transcribe the genes. Where does the repressor come from? A gene that is even further upstream from the promoter is the lac I gene. This encodes for the repressor protein that will bind to the operator. Now the operon has genes to metabolize lactose, a promoter for RNA polymerase binding, and a way to sense if lactose is present. But how does it choose glucose over lactose if both are present at equal concentrations? Let's first think about what signals the cell that there is a low concentration of glucose. An enzyme called adenylate cyclase converts ATP to cyclic AMP when glucose concentrations are low. So when glucose levels are low, cyclic AMP levels will be high. There is yet another region in this band of DNA called the CAP site. The CAP site, with the CAP protein bound, will promote RNA binding to the promoter. And here's the final link. CAP protein will only bind when cyclic AMP levels are high. So low concentrations of glucose raise cyclic AMP through adenylate cyclase, which activates CAP binding, which activates RNA polymerase binding. Quiz time. We will give you a state of the environment of the LAC operon, and you will tell us if LAC genes are expressed and why. Low glucose and high lactose. Lac genes are strongly expressed because low glucose increases cyclic AMP levels through adenylate cyclase, which stimulates CAP binding to the CAP binding site, which stimulates RNA polymerase binding. Along with this, lactose will remove the repressor from the operator. High glucose but no lactose. Lac genes are not expressed. With no lactose available, the repressor protein will be bound to the operator, physically preventing RNA polymerase. Low glucose and no lactose. You may think yes, because low glucose means that CAP protein will bind and stimulate RNA polymerase binding. However, with no lactose available, the repressor protein will be bound to the operator physically preventing RNA polymerase. Lac genes will not be expressed. Last one. High glucose and high lactose. Lac genes will be expressed, but at very low basal levels. High glucose means that no CAP will bind. However, high lactose will remove the repressor. RNA polymerase will not be activated by CAP, which is why only low levels will be transcribed. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 Review. We'll see you in the next video.